fans are here. They haven't made a lot of noise yet, but you know this place will be rocking. Hey, they're ready for this one. This is two of the greatest traditions in college basketball meeting on the floor here in Allen Fieldhouse today. The matchup is set. Forget about the records. It's Kansas and Kentucky. For the record, the records are three and one for Kentucky. They've really come alive in their last couple of ball games after they lost to Indiana. That's their only setback on the season. Of course, the Jayhawks, eight and zero, number two in the land, as everybody knows. The interesting fact about Kentucky is they are in a very similar situation as the Kansas Jayhawks were just one short year ago. The probation, no NCAA tournament, nothing to lose and everything to gain from knocking off the number two team in the nation. Only eight players on scholarship for Coach Rick Pitino in his first year at the University of Kentucky. He's kind of cleaning up the pieces left over from the Eddie Sutton era at the University of Kentucky. They don't have very big uh, players inside. Their biggest players, Jim, will only go 6-7. But I'll tell you what, every one of them is a threat from three-point land. They'll step out and take that three-point shot. They average nearly 30 three-point attempts per ball game. Now we could get in a lot of trouble here by saying what type of ball game this could be and can be. It could be a defensive battle. It could be a run-and-gun type offense. It could be a three-point shootout, as a matter of fact. Because both teams, everybody knows how well KU shoots the three-pointers. This Kentucky team just set an NCAA record taking 41 in their last outing. Well, you know, Rick Pitino says he has to do certain things because his club is not very big. And one of those things is extend that defense 94 feet. They'll play defense all over the floor, try to disrupt the other team's offensive flow, and then try to get down the floor and pop that, that shot from three points. We saw it last year with the Jayhawks, the emotion that comes out when you're on probation. You're playing for all the marbles during the season. You're not concerned about the end of the year. Is that going to enter into this game for Kentucky? Well, you know, I don't know. It, it's, I think they look at every big game on their schedule as an important ball game. You know, I think Kansas is looking at this one as an important ball game. If you dress in the University of Kentucky basketball uniform, you've got a lot of tradition behind you. You've got a lot of people expect great things from you. So, you know, this ought to be a great basketball game today. One player to watch for Kentucky. Number four, Derek Miller, averaging just under 22 points per game. He can do it all. Well, we watched him in warm-ups, and uh, he can pop them from three-point land that would be an NBA three-point shot. So he's got unlimited range out here. Somebody's really going to have to come out and extend the defense, whether it's Rick Calloway or Jeff Gelner, we don't know. We expect uh, that Coach Roy Williams will probably switch defenders on Derek Miller throughout the course of the ballgame. How about his own defense thrown in by Kentucky? KU's run into that more than once because a lot of teams can't play man-to-man -man defense against the Jayhawks. Well, Kansas has been able to make every team that uh, has played zone against them pay for it from three-point land. And, and I would expect, again, that uh, he'll get some good contribution from his bench this afternoon. All right, the Kentucky Wildcats in town at 3-1. and one. They're ready to take on the number two ranked Kansas Jayhawks. The opening lineup's coming your way right after this timeout. On the second-ranked Kansas Jayhawks. Both teams just about set to be introduced, and we've yet to see Kentucky head coach Rick Pitino make his way to the court. Roy Williams has been down that way a couple of times to shake his hand, but we haven't seen him. And here he comes. Just in time for the introduction of players. So let's go now to Howard Hill and get the introductions of today's combatants. Forward from Maysville, Kentucky, number 12, Darren Feldhaus. At forward from Paintsville, Kentucky, number 34, John Pelfrey. At center from Somerset, Kentucky, number 35, Reggie Henson. At guard from Savannah, Georgia, number four, Derek Miller. And at guard from Indianapolis, Indiana, number 11, Sean Woods. And now for the Jayhawks of Kansas. At forward from Cincinnati, Ohio, number 20, Rick Calloway. Back forward from Englewood, Colorado, number 42, Mark Randall. At center, from Yavaskala, Finland, number 44, Pekka Markinen. At guard, 
from Charleston, Illinois, number 33, Jeff Geldner. And a guard from Tulsa, Oklahoma, number 14, Kevin Pritchard. You know, Kentucky leads this series right handily, 16 to 2. The Jayhawks to try and win number three today. When we come back, the tip off. Maddox, one of the best six men around in college basketball. Expect to see him early on. He's marking it. We jump things off. We're underway. Tip control by Kentucky. Sean Woods, he'll drop it back. We open with a three. And buried by Derek Miller. And Derek Miller has hit 16 of 46 coming into play today. That's only 35%. As you see, Kentucky extend its defense. Richard goes to Geldner inside Randall. Quick whistle on the foul. He carries against Reggie Hansen, the 6'7 junior. Rick Patino as your first look at him here in this ball game. He did not come out until the announcement of the opening lineups today. Might have been a little psychological ploy on his part. Galloway gets it in on the inbounds pass to Gilmer. Rick right back from Jeff. His first shot no go. Big rebound inside by Hanson. On the break is Sean Woods. And Woods gets some spin and drops it in. And it's a 5 0 ball game, Kentucky. They pick up the full court pressure defense. And Callaway gets it ahead to Pritchard. Kansas three on three. Gelner back behind the three point circle. Callaway finds Markinen. Great feed inside from Rick Callaway to Pekka Markinen. As Rick was able to thread the needle on that pass. Callaway on the takeaway. Kicks it out. Hanson will go Miller and Gelder collide. Foul against Derek Miller. That'll be his first. Second team foul against Kentucky. And look at Rick Patino across the way. He's having a fit. Well, the Wildcats here in the uh, first minute and a half, less than the first minute and a half, have already put up two three point attempts and have made one of those. Both teams, two out of three shooting at 67%. Richard goes the length of the floor. Well, Kansas will make you pay on the backside of their transition game if you play them too close. Feldhaus buries a two. Seven six ball game, Kentucky with the advantage. We played almost two minutes. Keldon lines up the three. Gamp is back on top by two. Well, you'd be safe to say this crowd is ready for this one today. Sean Woods on the penetration. Kevin Pritchard whistles for the foul. That'll be Kevin's first. First against KU. Both teams shooting a high percentage. Kansas 80%, 75% for Kentucky. Hawks four out of five from the field. The Wildcats three out of four. Take a look at the play again as Kevin Pritchard bumps him with the body as he tries to drive into the lane. John Woods, a 39% free throw shooter, hits the first. And we tie, or he'll try to tie it here on the second attempt. 9 8 Kansas. Markman had it. Pritchard now with the loose ball, and the Hawks look to run. Well, both teams getting the transition game going. We could be looking at a big score today. Randall strong.